Now on Nightside, a man with 28 prior convictions has been arrested for stabbing a man to death in Seattle on the 4th of July, leading neighbors to question why he was released from jail at all. The highest temperatures of the season are in your weekend forecast. I'll let you know how hot it's going to get. A union representing over 300 EMTs, paramedics, dispatchers, and ambulance mechanics has started picketing. What that means for your safety. You're watching 4 News Now Nightside. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. We start with breaking news tonight. The Spokane County SWAT team found a man wanted out of Stevens County for child sexual assault dead in a Spokane Valley home. The sheriff's office responded to a home on Long Road in Indiana around 730 to check for the possible suspect. They say when they got there, a man believed to be him ran inside. Deputies say they then heard a loud bang because of the nature of the charges and the possibility of a weapon involved. SWAT and crisis negotiators were called. SWAT eventually entered the home and found the man dead from a possible self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Spokane County Medical Examiner will release the man's name. What is hot? And it's getting hotter. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm I'll ready. send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker to see how warm we're going to get, Chris. Well, even warmer than today. We were at 91 in both Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. That is 10 degrees above average, and we are tied for the warmest day of the season so far, but we are going to exceed that over the next few days. 88 today in Colville and Sandpoint, as well as Pullman. It was 86 in Lewiston, 100 degrees in the Tri-Cities. It's a warm night across the region. We are still in in the 70s in many locations. This is much warmer than it has been the past several nights at 11 o'clock. We're headed down to overnight lows also above average in the 50s in some spots, but mostly we'll be staying in the 60s and then an even warmer day for most locations tomorrow. That high of 92 would make it the warmest day of the season so far and we're not done warming up. Here's a look at your Friday planner. 81 is our average high. 92 are high tomorrow. We'll start off the day with some clouds and haze. It may not look like it's going to be a bright sunny day, but then as we get into the afternoon, expect sunshine and uh, it is going to be hot. I'll let you know what to expect for the weekend coming up in your seven day forecast. You may have seen this group protesting downtown Spokane earlier today. It's a union representing over 300 EMTs, paramedics, dispatchers, and ambulance mechanics who work for American Medical Response in Spokane. The group is currently working on negotiations for their contract, and they say it is not going well. If the group goes on strike, getting an ambulance in an emergency could be extremely difficult. New on Nightside, our Rania Kaur spoke to those on the front lines and explains how it impacts your safety. Aaron Kirsten, their contract was up on June 30th. Mediation is planned for July 17th and 18th with a federal mediator. These are the EMTs, the paramedics, the dispatchers, and the ambulance mechanics of Spokane. Teamsters, local 690 members, they say they want a better quality of life. It's tough for Spokane's EMTs and paramedics to take care of other people when we can barely take care of ourselves. Kevin Morcom has been an EMT for 10 years. He says the starting salary for EMTs is $17 an hour, a wage that's not livable anymore. The cost of living has gone up, you know. Uh, we've got a tough time with our employees trying to make rent. You know, rent skyrocketing, the uh, cost of gas is going up, even health insurance. It's the reason the union is holding a practice or an informational picket. It's one to, to let the company know that we're serious about negotiations, uh, and the other is to engage the public, to let the public know what's going on with our EMTs and paramedics that are out there on the road every day. The union is in the process of negotiating contracts that ended June 30th. If the union goes on strike, getting an ambulance in Spokane in an emergency could be very challenging. According to the law, the, the contract stays in effect until we're done negotiating. Um, so it's in effect right now, but there's some limitations on the contract. Retention in Spokane, Kuhn says, is a problem. So we have been losing people over the last couple of years, and that's not improving, it's getting worse. 
because we don't have the, what, the higher wages to draw people into the, the business. AMR Spokane, in a statement regarding negotiations, wrote in part, quote, AMR Spokane's goal in these negotiations is to ensure both organizations find an agreeable middle ground that enables our valued first responders and other employees to receive a market comparable agreement that also ensures a financially sustainable system for the future. Morkum just wants a change. I love, I love the job. I love you know being able to take care of somebody. Um, but I think the, the end of the day, we're overworked, we're undervalued, and we're underpaid. The union says they are entering mediation on the 17th. In the worst possible scenario, they'll strike if they have to. In studio, Ron Yacor for News Now. Well, time for a quick look at sports. I'm Julian Minnesone. We are less than 24 hours away from NBA Summer League and a handful of Gonzaga and Washington State players will be front and center in Las Vegas. A pair of players to keep an eye on are former Gonzaga Bulldog Julian Strother and former Washington State Cougar Muhammad Gay. Strother will be playing for the defending champion Denver Nuggets. He was a first round pick by the Nuggets in last month's NBA draft. Gay will be playing with the Atlanta Hawks. Gay was a second round draft pick by Atlanta this year. And we will have a full list of players and what to expect, as well as some of the big games that feature the former Zags and Cougs at NBA Summer League coming up a little bit later in sports. Live in the studio, Julian Minnesota for News Now Sports. Julian, thank you. New on Nightside, a man accused of fatally stabbing a stranger in Seattle on the 4th of July is being held on $2 million bond. The suspect has a string of convictions for violent crimes, and now some are asking why he wasn't already in jail. Lynn Ann Wynn reports. Are you serious? This video leaving many in the neighborhood stunned, capturing the moments of violent attack near the corner of Pike and Broadway ended with a 45-year-old man stabbed to death. According to state records, the suspect has been arrested over two dozen times. We are not naming him because he has not been charged yet, but prosecutors in court told the judge they intend to rush file this case. I think it's ridiculous when I hear stuff like that, that somebody has been in and out 28 times and, and they're still like roaming around and then to, to be doing something and to do something like that. I mean, that's horrible. Court records show the suspect randomly attacked the victim as he was arriving at the gas station, with witnesses stating the victim pleaded, quote, why are you doing this? I don't even know you. You can see on video employees from the store running out to help. Police say they used pepper spray on the suspect. In court documents, when asked why he continued stabbing the victim, the suspect said, I wanted to end his suffering. Given the allegations that he essentially chased down a stranger and stabbed him to death in public, and that he has prior convictions for violent offenses as well as order violations, I will set bail at $2 million. Here's what people are clicking on most on KXLY.com. The trial for the North Central boys basketball coach Andre Irvin is set to begin in September. He pleaded not guilty yesterday to sexual misconduct charges. According to court documents, two 16-year-old girls told police Irvin made sexually explicit comments to them. It goes on to say there was also, quote, unwanted touching. One of the victims saying Irvin touched her bare breast, her thigh, and leg. To learn more about the case, including the school district's response, look for the story on KXLY.com. The summer is getting dangerously hot. Learn how you can prepare for your next day out in the sun. Plus, Meta just launched its newest app called Threads, and it already has competitors furious. And over a thousand people came together in some dino suits. They're trying to break a <laughs> world record. <laughs> next That's up, one I'd time. like to see. <laughs> Me too. For news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Is it your day to water? Know if you are odd or even and be water wise this summer. I'm Mark Peterson, the extreme team at Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on the next task. If you know of a project that needs an extreme team makeover, go to KXOI.com to nominate it. For news now, extreme team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. Pop the champagne, humanity. We've done it. Celebrate your night with big winners, shocking thrills, and living legends. You know, I've always thought of you as Dave Jr. <laughs> oh, every hair on my body is standing up right now. Jimmy Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. 
When you're looking to upgrade the look and energy efficiency of your home, no one does a better job at a better price than McVeigh Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. For over 65 years, McVeigh Brothers has been on the cutting edge of the newest technologically advanced products sold. We're now offering triple pane windows, custom colored windows of your choice, and amazing mini blinds between the glass that will last a lifetime. At McVeigh Brothers, we're working for you. It's the biggest trading event in America. This week at all three Cal locations. This is your chance to trade in anything. Boats, snowmobiles, motorbikes, trailers. Whether it runs or not, we're cleaning up America. Making it the perfect time to upgrade your old ride to something better. Plus, delaying all payments until September 1st. With top dollar offered for all trade-ins during Cal's 4th of July great trade-in event. This is your summer to smile, to raise your glass and reconnect, to reel in the fun and savor every bite. To help you get ready, your Aspen Dental team is celebrating 25 years of affordable care with an epic Summer of Smiles event. Don't miss enjoying a moment with our on-site labs to help you fast and 20% off your denture care. So whether you need a new look or a quick fix, you can celebrate with a smile all season, always at Aspen Dental. Book today. 4 News Now is brought to you by All Wills Swap Meet, July 7th through the 9th. Thanks for staying up with Nightside. Several heat records have already been broken across the U.S. as temperatures continue to rise. Just in the last few days, the planet had its hottest days on record ever. The world's average temperature Tuesday and Wednesday just under 63 degrees Fahrenheit. That's according to climate tracking agencies in the U.S. and Europe. 62 degrees may not sound high, but weather experts point out it includes half the planet. And half the planet is in winter right now. It's the coldest regions like Antarctica. Melting ice means the Earth is reflecting less sunlight and absorbing it into the darker colored oceans, pushing up temperatures. Well, with these new record breaking temperatures, health experts are asking us all to pay attention how to how long we are in the sun. Too much exposure to extreme temperatures can negatively affect your body and your mind. It doesn't take much. It can be an hour or two that can lead to um, the cells and tissues of the body starting to feel the effect of it. In extreme heat, it becomes harder for your body to cool itself down. So the most serious heat-related illness, heat stroke, can hurt your brain and other important organs like your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Every year, the heat causes more than 700 deaths on average and more than 67,000 emergency room visits. Experts say as it continues to heat up, stay hydrated and wear lightweight, light-colored, loose-fitting clothing. In response to the dry conditions, Avista has turned its power lines to fire safety mode. During normal operations, the lines are set to try several times to clear a fault, reducing outage times. In fire safety mode, the line stays out until Avista crews determine it's safe. This can require more time to restore service, but decreases the potential fire danger. Very good thing to be doing because our fire danger level will be increasing as we continue to stay very dry and it's going to get even hotter. Four things to know about your weather. It's going to be warm tonight. We're going to be in the 90s through the weekend and beyond. Less hazy as we get more of a westerly, southwesterly flow that's going to disperse the wildfire smoke to our east. Mountain thunderstorms, still a possibility. I'll show you the computer model in a moment. Here's a look at our wildfire smoke situation right now. Still working its way down south from northern portions of British Columbia and Alberta. However, as has been the case all week, very little, if any of that, is making its way to the surface. Our air quality in the good range across the region, just that haze on the horizon. Now, when you wake up tomorrow morning, you may notice overcast conditions in spots. That is not the wildfire smoke. Those are clouds, uh, but they will not be around for long. We'll be clearing out for sunshine, by the afternoon. However, we also bring those mountain showers and thunderstorms back tomorrow afternoon and evening as well. We saw a few of those today. Here is your planning forecast. We'll be in the mid 90s for Saturday and Sunday, more than 10 degrees above average. 
Monday, still in the 90s, but we'll see an increase in clouds, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms and breezy conditions as we bring in some cooler air Still above average, but a dip for Tuesday and Wednesday. We start warming right back up into the 90s. Aaron. Thank you, Chris. $233,000 a year. That's how much money Americans said they would need to earn to feel financially secure. That's according to a bank rate survey. And they would need to make $483,000 a year to feel rich or attain financial freedom. The average salary in 2021 was just over $56,000. 72% of survey participants said they did not feel currently financially secu secure. The top reason, high inflation. Other reasons included insufficient emergency savings, is insufficient retirement savings, rising interest rates, low pay or low career mobility, high debt and housing affordability. So much of life feels like it's back to normal after the COVID pandemic, but for a lot of people, jobs and careers changed. So if your professional life was impacted, we want to hear from you. You can head to KXLY.com right now to share your story with us. Amazon Prime Day this year is on July 11th and 12th. If you're one of the many people looking to catch a good deal on a hot item before it sells out, experts say this year's Prime Day has a new twist. For some items that they think will sell out, they're asking you to do your homework ahead of time and right now click for an invitation to have the possibility to buy that item during Prime Day. Asking for an invitation to buy a product does not mean you will get one, but it might give you a better chance to buy what you're looking for before it sells out. Other stores know that people will be shopping on Prime Day and so they will also offer discounts. Everyone's trying to get your attention and compete with Amazon. A lot of the times, the best things I buy on Amazon Prime Day are not from Amazon because the stores I like just offer free shipping. Some experts say there will also be a lot of deals now for subscription services, but beware of the fine print. Twitter is fighting back after the launch of the new social media platform Threads, sending its parent company Meta a cease and desist letter. Some people are calling Threads the Twitter killer. Twitter's legal team accuses threads of misappropriation, misappropriating Twitter's trade secrets, saying it hired former Twitter employees who retained proprietary information. Threads was launched last night, and more than 30 million people have joined so far. That's according to Mark Zuckerberg. Threads has a similar interface to Twitter. You can post, have conversations, and respond to others. It's trying to attract people who, you know, are Twitter users, are Twitter fans, but are uncomfortable with the current direction of the site. Once the app is downloaded, users can sign in with their Instagram account, which carries over the username, verification, and followers. Experts say Thread seems to be the most viable Twitter competitor out there. Still ahead, how one woman saved a father's life, then his daughter's six years later. That's next on Nightside. Later tonight on Nightline, how native Hawaiians are being priced out of paradise. The move many are making and what's being done to stop the exodus. Plus, why stars like Black China are going natural and removing their implants. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. It's the factory authorized clearance at Lazy Boy. Hurry in and save up to 50% on floor samples, one of a kind's closeouts, and more. Everything must go. Lazy Boy, live life comfortably. Global Credit Union got its start right here at Fairchild Air Force Base and now has branches worldwide. We're proud to honor our military members by wearing red on Fridays. Red stands for Remember Everyone Deployed. And 4 News Now is joining Global by inviting you to wear red on Fridays too. Show your support for the men and women of our armed forces. Tell them and their families thank you for your service and for protecting our future. Stop by any Global branch and pick up a red pin. And then remember to wear red every Friday from now until September 11th. Get a free Makita Impact Driver Kit or a Pit Boss Grill now. When you build a deck with wood decking or timber tech or Trex composite decking and railing from PAR, visit PAR.com for details. What are you going to build? Hepatitis C? Don't just treat it. Crush it with Maverick. Conquer it with Maverick. Cure it with Maverick. Maverick cures all types of hep C. In only eight weeks. The virus multiplies daily and can damage the liver over time. Maverick stops hep C and cures it. 
If you've had hepatitis B, it may flare up and cause serious liver problems during and after treatment. Tell your doctor if you've had hep B, a liver or kidney transplant, other liver problems, HIV, other medical conditions, and all your medicines. Do not take Maverick with Atazanavir or Rifampin. Report right away yellow skin, stomach pain or swelling, confusion and bleeding or bruising. Hep C, crush it with Maverick. Conquer it. Cure it in only eight weeks. See Hep C gone with Maverick. Ask your doctor about Maverick. Abby could help you save. It's the factory authorized clearance at Lazy Boy. Hurry in and save up to 50% on floor samples, one of a kind's closeouts, and more. Everything must go. Lazy Boy. Live life comfortably. 4 News Now is brought to you by All Wills Swap Meet, July 7th through the 9th. Tomorrow, the Downtown Spokane Partnership hosts its first Friday event. It highlights local businesses, the local art scene. Visitors can expect to see live music, product launches, specialty food and beverage options. If you want to know more, including artist highlights, you can find that at KXLY.com. We have a fun video here of a young woman playing guitar in her apartment. She's minding her own business, but you see behind her, there's a hawk. Oh, it's sneaking around. Sneaking in. Decided to uh, fly in and try to get a snack. She didn't really notice it at first, but her dog did and tried to warn her. Uh-uh. Hey. No barking. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hawk in your Cheerios. I <laughs> <laughs> just wish uh, we could hear the narration from the dog. <laughs> like, the dog was like, I told you so. I was trying to warn you. As the girl was running off, she even started yelling for her roommate who moved out months ago. <laughs> what is in that bowl that a hawk would want? <laughs> I don't know. Something delicious. And eventually the bird <laughs> was bored and didn't like the snack any longer and flew right out the door. That's so cute. <laughs> it's terrifying. I <laughs> love that video. Oh, goodness gracious. Our high temperature today, 91 degrees, 10 degrees above average, but 10 degrees below our record. We have not had any extreme heat events this summer. In fact, here's a look at our 90 degree days over the past couple of months. We had one in May, which is average. We hit 90. We had two in June, which is average. 91, that's as high as it's been, 91 today. We've had one, so four 90 degree days and just barely into the 90s. Have a lot of summer left to go, however, and we will be warmer for the next few days into the mid 90s by Saturday and Sunday, and then we start to cool down again, 80s to right around 90 degrees, long range forecast. We are just in the light orange, not these deep, dark reds further to the south. So a hint that we may keep that above average temperature trend going and a mixed bag of the Northeast Mountains, North Idaho in the light green above average precipitation, the Palouse, the Southern Panhandle, Elsie Valley in that little sliver of below average precipitation in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene are stuck in between. So basically, let's we'll just all wait and see <laughs> together. Pick of the night tonight, leave it to Tyler Nimke to find some snow on the 4th of July. He took his two young sons hiking up above St. Joe Baldy in North Idaho and made a snowman. And he said they then, of course, these are young boys, dismantled the snowman and then pelted Tyler with snowballs. But uh, there is still some snow to be found if you are willing to hike up and find it. And again, Tyler Nimke, if you know him, he would be one to find it. <laughs> Kirsten? <laughs> but where's the tank top? <laughs> That's what we're all wondering. That, yeah, good question. <laughs> Maybe one of the boys had oh, that on. That's so fun. All right, thanks, Chris. A West Virginia paramedic saved the life of a father and then his daughter six years later. As an EMS worker and paramedic, Christy Hadfield met John Cunningham in 2016 when he suffered a cardiac arrest. Six years later, Cunningham's daughter, Molly Jones, was diagnosed with stage four renal disease and needed a new kidney fast. After seeing a social media post about what she needed, Hadfield decided to come to the rescue once again. When I posted it, all of a sudden I just got this message from Christy. And I messaged her and I said, hey, I've got your kidney here. She said to me, listen, kid, I saved your dad and I'm going to save you too. 
now with her new kidney, Jones is able to keep spending time with her daughter, thanking Christy for giving her back her life. New on Nightside, the rate of teen girls having babies has hit a record low. A report from the CDC showed the birth rate among 15 to 19 year olds in 2022 was 13.5 out of 1,000. Health officials say educating teens and young people about safe sex can help continue that trend. To do that, parents should talk to their teens about sex. Frank conversations are shown to lead to more frequent use of birth control, healthier romantic relationships, and less sex with teens. Many clinics offer free or inexpensive counseling and reproductive health services for teens. These sessions are entirely confidential, meaning that their information cannot be shared with anyone unless they are in danger. New on Nightside, some people think they're scary and scaly. A new study has found a surprising behavior in snakes that is similar to humans. They comfort each other when they're stressed. Researchers with the journal Frontiers in Ethology studied rattlesnakes in stressful situations, which they created by placing the snakes in large plastic buckets, sealing them off, and then striking the buckets with pipes. This doesn't sound very nice. Mm -hmm. Using heart monitors, they tracked the animal's stress levels and found that those with companions had lower heart rates compared to those who were alone. This response, called social buffering, has never been recorded in reptiles. Scientists hope this research will help put public perception of snakes in a more positive light. Seattle Mariners are heating up at the right time. Highlights from their game against the defending champions, Houston Astros, coming up in sports. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Kootenai Heart Clinics. Welcome to Celebrity Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. Funeral home lost the body. What they gonna put in the casket? A horse. Let's go. Celebrity Family Feud premieres Sunday on ABC and stream on Hulu. Own the elements. Quattro in the Audi Q5. Let's go, buddy. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. Get $200 with a new checking account from Horizon Credit Union. We're here to guide you towards your dreams and put some extra cash in your pocket. Sign up in branch or online with the Get 200 promo code today. 4 News Now Firewatch coverage. That fire has grown exponentially. With resources on TV, online, and on the go with the 4 News Now app. Firewatch coverage to keep you safe. That's what we mean when we say expect more on 4 News Now. Stream 4 News Now free on your connected TV with KXLY+. I'm Aaron Luna. With KXLY+, Plus, you can stream live newscasts, get special reports and exclusive content on demand and on your schedule. Short on time? Grab the morning sprint for a quick look at the headlines with Robin Nance and Derek Dice. Look for KXLY+, Plus on your streaming device or go to KXLY.com for instructions. Local news and weather for free. Check out KXLY+, Plus and start streaming today. Quattro in the Audi Q5. Let's go, buddy. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. Well, the Seattle Mariners need to make every game count. Welcome into sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. The Mariners have one more series before the All-Star break. It's the last chance for the coaches and front office to see where the team needs to improve before the second half of the season. And what better way to see where you stand than to play the defending champion, Houston Astros. Someone who made a good impression was Mariners third baseman Eugenio Suarez. Suarez gives the Mariners the 2-0 lead with the home run right here. There will be more from Suarez later. A little spoiler alert for you there. Now, next inning, Mariners up to bat once again. This time, it's J.P. Crawford. Not known for hitting home runs, but Crawford got some extra curls in before the game. Look at that. Over the wall it goes. Mariners go ahead 3-0. But the Astros are the champs, so they didn't go quietly in this game. Corey Jolks will hit this one down the line. That's trouble for Seattle. The runner is going to score all the way from first 
first base as the ball ricochets to the corner of the wall. Houston finally gets on the board in the seventh inning. But remember when I said we would see more Eugenio Suarez? Well, I wouldn't lie to you. Here he is, Suarez, with his second home run of the game. That one was crushed even more than the first one. Mariners win game one against the defending champs. Five to one is the final. Seattle has now won five of its last six games. Game two of the series is at 510 tomorrow night. Now, some of your favorite Gonzaga and Washington State players will be living out of a suitcase for the next two weeks. The NBA Summer League tips off tomorrow in Las Vegas. A handful of former Zags and Cougs will be taking the next steps of their pro careers. Gonzaga's Julian Strother might have the most pressure out of all of them. Strother will be suiting up for the defending champion Denver Nuggets. He was a first round pick by the Nuggets in last month's NBA draft, meaning the team has a lot of faith in Strother to be a solid player for the future. Strother is ready to add to an already championship culture. That journey begins tomorrow. To play the right way and play for each other. Um, you know, I feel like in today's age of basketball, it's kind of getting lost, you know, playing for one another and playing to win. So um, being able to join an organization that's all about winning, all about each other, I mean, it's a blessing. Other Gonzaga players at Summer League include Drew Timmy and Malachi Smith. Some former Bulldogs from a few seasons ago will also be playing, such as Chet Holmgren and Philip Petrusif. Washington State will be represented at Summer League. Cougar center Muhammad Gay will be playing for the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks signed Gay to a four-year deal worth $7 million. The Hawks wanted to lock down Gay after picking him in the second round of the draft this year. And now Gay will get a chance to prove he is worth that new contract. Honestly, I'm just trying to, you know, be patient. I know it's a new role. I know i got to adjust to it, you know. I'm just trying to be patient, let the game come to me, and it's just a matter of time until I figure it out. Now, along with Gay, former Washington State guard Justin Powell will also be at NBA Summer League. Powell will play for the Miami Heat. And here are a few games to keep an eye on for day one tomorrow. The big one is the Nuggets against the Milwaukee Bucks. That pits Gonzaga teammates Julian Strother and Drew Timmy against one another in a head-to-head -head matchup. Malachi Smith and the Portland Trailblazers will play the Houston Rockets. That's another former Zag in there. And the nightcap will feature Washington State's Muhammad Gay and the Atlanta Hawks taking on the Sacramento Kings. And Eastern Washington also has a pair of players competing at Summer League. Guard Angelo Allegri will be playing for the Charlotte Hornets. And former Shadel Park and Eastern standout Tanner Groves will suit up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. That'll wrap us up for sports. We'll be right back. Download the 4 News Now app today. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. Friday night, July 7th, KXLY 4 News Now invites you to another fabulous Friday night fireworks show at Avista Stadium. It's all courtesy of Royal Earth. And don't forget to purchase your glow necklaces in the Spokane Indians team store. Your Spokane Indians play the Seattle Mariners affiliate, the Everett Aqua Sox. For tickets, go to SpokaneIndians.com. Friday, July 7th, another fabulous fireworks show at Avista Stadium presented by Froyo Earth and KXLY 4 News Now. Does your current roof have moss growing on it? Is it worn out or tattered? Have you recently seen the heat and electric bills going up? Then it may be time for you to get a new roof from McVay Brothers. McVay Brothers is the only five-star certified select shingle master contractor in the Inland Northwest. We also have great financing options to help you out, like no money down and up to 12 years low interest financing. So you can get everything you want now and pay for it later. At McVay Brothers, we're always working for you. Driving safely is all about the little things, like giving folks a break, even at unmarked crosswalks, making plenty of space for people riding, and choosing to wait for the next green light by slowing down and stopping on yellow. Because when you're the biggest and the fastest, you've got to be the safest, too. Together, we get there. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.
Hot sunny weather for the next several days. Tomorrow morning may wake up with some clouds and haze, but it will not be around for long. And uh, get used to those 90s. Get used to them. Love them. Just embrace them. Just embrace the 90s <laughs> and embrace a dinosaur. <laughs> Take a look at this tiny Canadian town turned into a dino dance party. It's to break a world record. Organizers used uh, social media to spread the word and more than 1,000 dancing dinos <laughs> trotted down to that <laughs> Canadian town. I oh, love that as a kid. The, the previous record was 253 dancing dinos. I'm wow. telling you. They killed it. They're they funny it. no matter what they're doing. <laughs> Those costumes are funny. <laughs> they are hilarious. Running Bloomsday <laughs> at Hoop right. Fest. Yeah. Really? I didn't oh, see yeah. Hoop Fest. They're awesome. out there.